Hello and welcome to Win the White House. Well, again, this is the second time I attempted this because I accidentally clicked on the wrong game. But, oh well, here we go. Well, I'm in middle school now, so don't stalk me. <laughs> there you are, the next president of the United States. This is, if you listen to my advice. That's, that's pretty demanding in my opinion, but okay. My name's Inez. I'm your campaign manager. Together we're going to persuade voters that you're the best candidate for the job. Let's get to work. Okay. Character. Last time I played as this person, so this should be fun. Okay. Wait. If you if you watch Friends, then you know this reference. It's Regina Falange for an ex-president from Alaska. <laughs> Seems like a fun state. Don't hate on me, but I'm choosing Republican. And I think the issues that we need to do, secure borders, definitely. <laughs> Gun rights, 10 out of 10. Best law ever. I think that's what our main focus should be on. <laughs> okay, here's the primary debate. This game, I think, is really actually good for people to learn off of because it really helps people learn about what it takes to run a government and what it is actually like to be president of the United States and run for it. And, well, well now during this debate, fight terrorism abroad is and global independence is apparently what people are talking about now i think i'm going to talk about fight terrorism abroad terrorist threats to america must be stopped with the full power of our military let's present this issue i stand for fighting terrorism abroad Ooh, i'd love i'd love to hear your take on this why do you want to support this issue? This sort of goes along with, like, what you're going to say. And if you say something stupid, no one's going to listen to you. <laughs> the government should really stop, step in to stop siblings from terrorizing each other. It's so annoying. Yeah, that's definitely not something to do, to click on, or else people won't take you seriously. Why are we even working with other countries? America needs no one. Well, this doesn't even relate to the topic, so we can't fight the terrorists to come to us. We must use our military to fight them on our own turf. Woo! Preach. Agreed. Is there a policy to back the- Oh. A policy. Okay. We should blow up as much as possible to send a message that we aren't playing around. I don't think that's good. Can't we just ask our neighbors for oil? Like, like when we need a cup of sugar for a cake. Well, that doesn't even relate to the topic, so. The nation must invest more of, in our military and be willing to take a hard stand against terrorism. That is definitely the one. That might work. Ooh, that's right, it will work. And I think gun rights and secure borders are very, are very important to America. Maybe just a wall somewhere, anywhere. Maybe all around. Who knows? Let's present this issue. I stand for securing our borders. Do tell. Our current ways of dealing with the arrival of illegal immigrants is not working. I'll, s I'll let that one. Well played. That's right. I am very good at running for president hesitating because my answers are just way better than hers i think global independence next because because later in the game people would the the separate states where people would vote for you they they support some issues and i remember playing the first time that global independence was very important so but i think i'm going to go with gun rights yeah. <laughs> People just need their guns, okay? <laughs> they need to protect themselves. <laughs> mm. 
bailing out of a sinking bin business is a lot of work. So many buckets. What? <laughs> Guns for everyone. I think the second one. Well played. That's right. I am very well played. One more issue to gain. Do you want to stick with the Republicans or break away and be a maverick? Oh, a maverick. <laughs> By selecting an issue more popular with the Democrats. I'll stick with my Republican. But I will view the issues, maybe. No, these are garbage. <laughs> Choose another one. I definitely... Hmm. I'm doing global independence because it's a hot issue. But if I do, there's, there's a bigger chance of me failing at this one, though, so... I support this issue because why are you even working with other good American needs? What, no one. Um, the government should really step in to stop. I That is definitely not the answer, but it's a good one for other things, such as such as if you're, you are running president against your siblings. I think that is a very good one. I think it's the first one because we need to hang on to our culture and values. Yeah, I think it. Agreed. Is there a policy to... Okay, so we're doing good. <laughs> How you support this issue. The best plan of action is just give all of your tax money to new companies to help them succeed. That does not relate to this at all. We should invite other nations to join the I Love America fan club. I propose that we should put America first in all international agreements and conversations. Compromise is, isn't always good. I think that one. I bet that would get support. That's right. You're going to lose. <laughs> applause. <laughs> okay, I'm the only one applauding. Fantastic debate. You've shown the primary voters what issues are important to you. It's now time to prove to your party that you have what it takes to win the pre this presidential election. I already know I have what it takes. Leading the, um, the American dream as my campaign slogan. Victory is certain. Next off, the Oval Office. I can see the future. I feel like that's a superpower and it's just almost funny to me. So why not? Let's go over our, our Regina Falange, Republican Party from Alaska that supports fight terrorism abroad, secure borders, school choice, gun rights, and global independence. Here we go. I don't want, I don't need a campaign in the primaries as a tutorial. I already got this. I mean, if you, if you play this for the first time, then you probably will, will want it. But otherwise, I'm good. My vice presidential candidate is John Davis, Indiana, popular with older Americans. Sarah Patel, Arizona, former ambassador, strong diplomacy skills. James Hill, Massachusetts, strong foreign policy experience. I think I'm going to go with him. I love his home state, Massachusetts, and I love and I like his glasses, so why not? <laughs> Apparently, people like this guy, so. <laughs> to my excellent campaign staff, oh, oh. To my friends and all my fellow citizens of this great nation, with deep gratitude and great humility, I accept your nomination to run for President of the United States. Let the race begin. Oh, people, oh. People are very supportive. Regina Falange, I can see the future. I really enjoy the bus, the party bus. I think it is the best party ever. Oh, here we go. Oh, everyone is, okay. We got the small states for the electoral votes. This really teaches you about how electoral votes and choosing where you want to campaign in is very important in this game and in real life as a president running exam in real life. I don't know what I'm saying, but okay. 
it's just very important to know that some states are swing states and some are worth more. But if you have really small states, all to, like all the really small states over the the big states like California, Florida, Texas, and New York, even that you you do have a chance of winning. So here we go. I'm going to definitely campaign. Wait, and it shows, and uh, the view state popular support button shows that, sh shows which side is which, and if you can swing another side to change the position of, of it. Right now we're 109 electoral votes to 108, so things are intense. I'm going to get support from Texas just because it has these green money signs show that it's worth a lot of money, so I'm going to fundraise there. Oh. Oh, you need a lead here. Oh, oh well. So I'm probably going to fundraise in Virginia. That's the first thing you should do is fundraise because you can't do anything else if you don't because it all takes money. You can do polling to find out uh, uh, what the states, uh, what the status is in those states and see if you're ahead or not. So I'm going to poll in California. Ah, oh, they just got so many more electoral votes just then. Why did I do that? Mm -hmm. At least it's good to know though. Ooh, if the Republicans have their way. Oh, okay. Apparently it skipped me. Let's let's add media, I feel. Let's do an appearance in, uh, I would say let's do an appearance in Texas. Oh, the repose issue, issues is gun rights, which is me. And, but their supported issues is, is global independence and and financial responsibility and equal access to health care. So I'm going to talk about the opposed issues from their candidate, right to organize, et cetera, et cetera, whatever they are. So here we go. Wait, what is this again? Unions are needed to protect fair wages, worker, worker safety, and job security. Democrats think that America should stand alone and make enemies rather than allies. Good luck with that, Jordan. I don't think that really relates. And it shows, it sure so shows that some things are, corrupt unions are dragging our country to destruction. Stop joining in, in their anti-business pals. Jordan cares more about ow owls and caterpillars than the American worker. Get real, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, get real, Jordan. What's the big deal? <laughs> Unions are needed. Job securities. I think maybe this is... Yeah, this is it. Yeah. If it's green, then it shows that you picked the right one and you're making a good appearance. And if it's red that it's bad. Falange is doing well in Texas. We'll see if the Republicans can keep up this momentum. I hope we do. I hope I win. I mean, we definitely will win. What are you talking about? Fighting terrorism is Oh wow, that's an evil commercial. Let's see the tides. Yeah, we're not doing so well in Texas. California or like we're doing sort of well in Pennsylvania but we need to swing it over so I'm going to put media in Pennsylvania oh we don't have enough funds Ugh. well then I have to end my turn they got so much money from Texas or whatever they did <laughs> doing that I would if I were in that spot I would definitely save the money for later because if you do if you do uh well if you do <laughs> spend it all at once then the next turn you lower you actually lower your amount of money if you choose it again if you're popular 
if your popularity is low for a state right now, you can sway them in your favor by the end of the campaign to get some momentum. Need a boost? John Adams said, patience and per perseverance have a magical effect before which difficulties disappear and obstacles vanish. Inspirational. This person is now inspirational. At first, I thought she was very annoying. I definitely think that we should swing over Pennsylvania. So I'm going to fundraise in, I would say Ohio, because Ohio is very nice. They are so nice for me. We have two things that we can do. So I think I'm going to make an appearance because I feel like that keeps the power up. So I'm going to make an appearance in Pennsylvania and talk about and talk about gun rights or talk about, oh, bad school choice? Pennsylvania, wow. So I'm going to choose talk about gun rights because that's something that's supported by the America. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely this one. The other ones are just like, are just out of topic. And I feel like this game does educate you a bit about how our government works, except for the fact that some of, the, some of the options just don't even relate and don't really give you a challenge that much. And so if, I would definitely critique on that. And also by the fact that it doesn't really, it almost doesn't really, it repeats the same options for some of them, especially when we were doing the, the uh, debate. If the Republicans have their way, we'll be living in a scene. Oh, never mind. Jordan is apparently a fast speaker. So they just did in Arkansas, as you can see here. So I think we're going to do some polling in Colorado because that's like a very important state. So that I think I should attack next. Not attack. Oh, opposed issues. That's actually a lot, and we're actually, oh man, there, but it's pretty close, so I'm going to, I don't have any uh, coins left, or currency, but otherwise, oh well. <laughs> I'm going to get, definitely get them next turn. Hawaii's on, on my side, though, so. Oh, we got, we got New York. Woo. I'm very happy now because, because New York is worth a lot and it really helps our campaign. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. We definitely did get more in Texas though, so. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Huh? We did, we did get Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, I, I'm definitely going to do media now. Except I do need fundraising, so. Do you think I can get it? F oh, I can. I can get it from New York. Woo. I definitely need it now to swing over some of the states, like New York and North Carolina, I think. Oh, North Carolina. Oh, gosh. I'm definitely going to swing over uh, Louisiana, so. Let's send some media there. I'm definitely going to talk about school choice because I feel like that's important. And that one, because it relates. As I said, some of the options don't really relate, but it's still, is that a play on CNN? I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they're, they're, I think they're might taking over Hawaii. Oh no. And. I'm definitely next going to do an appearance. Wait, is how how much? Yeah, I'm doing an appearance in Texas to get to take their votes. Votes, votes, votes. What's that? To get to take their votes away. I just said it again. I'm definitely going to talk about how because I talked about this last time. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. So I'm t going to talk about the good thing about global independence. Yeah, I think it's this one. 
see look it, it's just not related to the to the topic you could got it let's see let's try to speed run this wait how how much is dc worth oh okay dc is only worth three thank gosh i i can do polling so i'm going to do that in i believe minnesota that's that's like 10 so that's a lot oh, i always choose the bad one Apparently they're going. Oh, eh. Hey. I think we're doing good. In... We're doing okay, I think. There's def they definitely have like all the, all the you know state good states. And as you can see, the purple means they're like swing. They're like almost like in between. If they're like more red and like they get more red as. They support uh, Republican or Democrat more. So, I'm going to fundraise in Texas because that has a lot of money. So, I'm definitely going to t uh, try to swing over Pennsylvania more like I did earlier because right now we're in the middle. So, I'm going to try to do that. I think appearances has the be have the best options, so we'll see. Definitely gun rights, because they support that. Yep, that's the same one. I The thing about this game is that it's the same one. It's like the same one every time, so. And you can keep using that. I feel like it should be a bit more balanced and it really should be, it really should be more like if you use this one, then you really can't use that one again. And I'm definitely going to put some more media in New York because that's a, a very important state to take over. Yeah, I'm definitely going to talk about right to organize from the other campaign. Let's see. Uh, unions are needed to provide fair wages, worker safety, and job security. Yep, that one. You could just tell by the first, like, words. Corrupt union. That's an evil commercial. I almost feel bad. Okay, I have one left, so I, I can pull. I'm not... Phalange supports taking money from the public education, so the rich something. Oh, man. Zooms in on my face. I think. I think I'm going to stop here, considering that it's been like a long time. But. But. This game is like pretty good for like hiding the fact that it educates people almost about how our government works and some points that pe like the two different parties focus on and i definitely think people sh it's like a fun game to play <laughs> and it's definitely hides it definitely hides that and makes it more feel like a game rather than just keep it focused on the education which i enjoy for like adult audiences and well bye